Your next performer coming to the screen, she is all the way from the San Francisco Bay Area. She is a writer and an actress, and she teaches piano to adult learners. Please give it up for the wonderful Jane Stone. Good evening. Come on in, take off your mask, hang it up and stay a while. Wearing a mask all the time is really difficult and burdensome from, for somebody like me who cries all the time. Stress from COVID has really brought me down. I, I bought a new phone and it took forever just to get my voicemail greeting sounding reasonably cheerful. My first try was, hello. I'm so happy you called. After the tone, state your bad news, and I'll call you back if I'm still alive. After 30 tries, finally, I, I think I sounded cheerful. It was, hello, I am thrilled you've called. After the tone, list three things you're grateful for, and I'll call you back with a song in my heart. On a different note, my doctor told me to take walks to strengthen my bones. So I took a walk for my bones, and I fractured my wrist. The price for my visit to the emergency department was $47,000. How dare they charge that much when they didn't even have an open bar? The surgery was a week later and the doctor was very reassuring. He said, well, you won't be able to use your right hand for three months, but you should be able to do almost everything. So I asked, does that mean I'll be able to take care of myself? And he says, nope. When the cast had been on my arm for four or five weeks, I complained to the doctor. I said, it's starting to smell like dead squirrels. So he says, then don't smell it. Do you know how hard it is to keep your nose away from your wrist? Well, the home health agency sent me the shower lady to help me shower once a week. She shows up at my door wearing a shower cap, goggles, an N95 mask, rubber gloves up to her elbows, a full length rubber apron and rubber boots. When I first saw her, I thought she was the pizza delivery guy. Then I remembered it was 7 a.m. I never have pizza before nine. Well, so the shower lady undresses me and I climb into the shower stall and she lathers me up and hoses me down. I mean, it was insane. That was all the action I was getting. And it was just once a week. Well, I've been concerned that my favorite restaurant, the Blue Pigeon, might not survive the pandemic. I went there. And I think the way they, they did it was they totally switched things up. They changed the name from the Blue Pigeon to Le Squab Bleu and doubled the prices. That's it. Same Chinese menu. In the old days, the maitre d' Rodrigo used to greet me at the front door with a gracious, ah, you're here by yourself, alone, again. Then he'd show me to the special table for one, nestled between the kitchen door and the men's room. Now, you have to prove you're vaccinated and then prove you're you. Well, who else would I be? 
If I were anyone else, would I be eating Chinese food at a place called Le Squab Bleu? And the dining is all outdoors now. So I have to sit under a very intense heat lamp. Now I know how a French fry feels at McDonald's. And the other night, my hat melted. I'm a, I'm a little paranoid, so to make sure that I'm not sitting downwind of anyone, I make the cloth napkin into a wind sock. I used to think that bleu was the French word for blue, but it turns out it's how you feel after you eat at Le Squab Bleu. You know, I've noticed you are the best audience. Thank you for visiting and take good care of each other, sweethearts. Yay, 